welcome to Cocktails with Tia and the Jays. I'm Turquoise with my mother, Janice, sister Janice. And today we're doing the 2021 recap Yay. of the entire year. Um, we're going to share some of our favorite moments, some of the moments that irritated our soul, <laughs> some teaching moments, some positive moments. Um, so to start off, we do have four positive young children uh, who made a difference with, within the past year. Cameron Tucker, Amanda Gorman, Devon Johnson, Jason Roberts. Rogers. Oh, sorry. Jason Rogers. And um, Cameron Tucker, he was the gentleman that was cutting his classmates hair in the bathroom, ended up getting an internship with a barber. So that was awesome. Yeah, 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 man, it's a positive story. Yes. Love that story. Amanda Gorman, she did the poem at the inauguration for President Biden. Love it. Um, Devin very jo- smart young lady. Yeah. Very smart. Um, Devin Johnson, he's the gentleman that we spoke about last week, the eleven year old that saved two people lives in one day. Yeah. A and, real life hero. Yes. And then Jason Rogers. Right. The he's a, the youngest jeweler yeah. ever. He's fourteen years old and he's already a businessman and his business is growing and flourishing and it's just positive to see a kid doing something good you know it's, it's always I love hearing stories of kids excelling than what more than you expect I love stories like these so thank congrats to these kids Yay. for being a positive image in 2021 all right so let's go ahead and just pull up some of our topics that we talked about over the past year go ahead and go to topics two screen for me please So, uh, some of the things that occurred was the baby and his drama with Danny Lay. Um, Gorilla Glue. Yeah. She passed. No. Not the Gorilla. No, not the Gorilla Glue. She didn't pass. Okay, well, I seen it on YouTube. (laughs) I think she had, I think she was pregnant and lost her baby. Oh. (laughs) Somebody passed. I know of uh, like somebody that went viral that, that passed, but they, they had her picture. That that was probably a mistake because I don't think Gorilla Glue is girl is still alive. Sorry. Um, continue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. That's terrible. That was that would been that make me laugh passed. all day. <laughs> but if you guys don't know, she's the young lady that went viral for putting Gorilla Glue in her hair to make her hair lay. Um, it was in a like a ponytail style, and then it stuck. It's yeah, she of course it's gorilla glue. Yeah, she had to have surgery, all kinds of stuff, and the, uh, the line was it won't move, which became catchy, and people it's, put it's it. It's not songs. by choice. It's yeah. not by choice. Um, let's see what else. The versus with Jada Kiss, oh, the locks, um, and Dipset. I didn't watch it, but I heard a lot of good things that Jada Kiss. Jada Kiss it. bodied everybody. I mean, it was a good versus Dipset. Like it was a good versus. They both had great songs. It was a good battle, but Jada Kiss was the MVP of the night. That was a good versus. But there were so many good verses. The Earth, Wind, and Fire, uh, Isley Brothers. Uh, although Steve Har- Harvey was a little annoying with his talking, but it was a good versus and Ron Isley looking hot with his he's cell a, he's also. Backwards. He, he, looks he looks great. Good, yeah. He looks great. Uh, I think Steve Harvey was just really happy to be there because you yeah. know if you watch his comedy yeah, stand-up, he he's loved, always talking about. He always about, talked about them. Yeah. Bands, so I think he's just them. very excited. To yeah. Be there. I, I can imagine that would be me. Like if I was, although you I would, I would be shut annoying up. too. I, I probably <laughs> would be annoying. Like although I would be annoying in the sense that I would be like singing the songs like I want I would want more music I wouldn't like just want to talk to them I would want them to play their music but that was a good versus uh uh Stephanie Mills and Shaka Khan did a versus um Bone and Three Six Mafias versus that was the best one <laughs> that one was like whoa that one that one was very entertaining. It had everything. You ugly motherfuckers are gonna be mocking while I'm up here on stage. Okay. That one, that one had everything. That one had everything. Yeah, but yeah, versus was it was a good year for versus because mm-hmm. there was a lot of good ones. Shout out to Swiss Beats and uh, Timberland for bringing that together. Yeah, that's a cool comp. I love that. Now everybody wants to do a versus. So that's that's, that's so cool. cool. That is cool. Um, let's see, Mom. What are some of your favorite favorite moments over twenty twenty one? It could be personal moments. It could be moments in media, TV moments shows in... that you got to. I don't, I'm not. I don't know. I was listening for y'all. You know the stories we had, and then I would have comment. 
Okay. Okay. Well, let's go back. Let's uh, little Nas X. Yeah. He spent his year raising hell. <laughs> Everybody like uh, <laughs> getting he, the devil lap yeah, dance. He, he had the blood shoes. shoes. He had the blood <laughs> shoes. He did a lap dance on the devil, and him and Lil Boosie argued for a whole year. Yeah. It was, it was, he had an interesting year. Although I like Lil Nas X, I think it's funny that he like gets under people's skin so much. That's exactly why he does it because he knows he can get under their skin, and they giving him the satisfaction, and he's going to the bank with it. Straight to the bank. Straight to the bank. It's, yeah, it's just, I don't know. It's like people mentioned before, like other artists being very sexualized on yeah. stage, like Madonna mm-hmm. and yep. Prince. Yep. But it's like when I look at some of the artists nowadays, I don't know why. It just, it, it, it gives me more of a, um inappropriate vibe than watching Prince on stage. Like I didn't agree with when Madonna kissed Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears. But I don't know. I just I don't know. Nowadays I'm. I don't guess I'm you're I get be, more we're becoming our parents. I think when, uh, <laughs> what it is is the what it's it's always like that. It's, no, it's that. If you notice, this is not. This is every generation. Every generation thinks the generation after them are way more mm-hmm. vulgar, way more nasty. I mean, come on, like, uh, what's the lady who did the, what is her name? Oh, God, the, did the nasty, nasty Ooh. songs back in the same uh, day. Oh, um, my, uh, uh, Willie Wilson. Jackson. No, older than her. Uh, I don't she know did, nobody older old, than her. She's like <laughs> the first, you know who I'm talking about, right? What's her name? Lucille Bogan. Oh, go ahead, baby. Thank you, ba- thank her. you, baby girl. I don't know who that is. She's the songs. If y'all I listen to ter- girl, we all have no, to no. Activate and stuff. I'm sorry, but because me and her talked about this one before, know her. and like she did a song where she talked about sex in the craziest way, and it's just okay. So this has been around forever, but I think what it is is. It just every uh, time, every generation that it just gets more and more vulgar. Remember what it used to be revealing for a woman to show her ankle? Yeah. And then uh, now as every generation, then it went to her thigh wearing the garter and the line dancing and showing her shoulders. And Mm -hmm. every generation, more and more clothes started coming off the woman. Well, Josephine Baker stood up there with bananas on and a little. That's what I'm saying. Top. That's, that's what, what they I'm saying. wanted her to they, do. Yeah, that's yeah. she. She found a. She niche had to do that. whatever she had to do to make money. Yeah. I think that's just normal for know, every I'm generation. Some of the stuff I've seen. Like, we're like, they're like, yeah, the music these kids listen to this, these days. Watch when our kids grow up, they're gonna be saying to them, yeah, the music y'all listen to these days, the clothes y'all. They ain't gonna be days. able to say back in my day, music was just music. They'll probably they ain't feel gonna that be way. able to say that. I bet you any kind they of money, ain't gonna, they'll ain't feel no that way. way. They're gonna be able to say that. Well, <laughs> not our kids, because no. they got old school no. music taste. But uh, like some of these newer generation that love the little blue faces. And the the all of these littles that are out they here, they kids gonna be cracking up laughing. At <laughs> but watch, I, I, when I say is this, this is nothing new. It's every generation. It's the same thing. Y'all worse than we. When back in my day, it was not like this. It's, it's every generation. And I do agree though that it's way more revealing now. Yeah, like the, I'm the, like, the, I'm the sensitive. Uh, no, the the way that like wearing. No, they only get stuff. sensitive if you use your words. <laughs> Right. You can do anything on stage, kiss, have right. sex, and but don't you dare use your words. One thing I don't understand that happens on a lot of like performances is the girls with the thongs on stage and like bending over. Oh my god, like the, the verses. Three Six Mafia bring out a stripper, and I was oh, so and she, disturbed. I was she like, oh, had she should have been just naked. She literally had on a floss. She had dental floss on, and she's like twerking and stuff, and they like throwing money. I was like, whoa. Like that versus had everything. It, it was like watching BET Uncut. That versus. yeah, it was. Um, let's see what else. Let's go ahead and go. I think it is topic three. This is show real well. Images. All right. So there was. This is something that happened um, in April of, of this of twenty nineteen actually. But the young man was sentenced recently, and his sentence was was just um, uh, decreased by a hundred years. And oh, I, I felt so. You saw that. that, yeah. I feel uh, so bad. So mm-hmm. Aguilar um, Medeiros, he was a 23 year old at the time driving a semi truck, and his brakes wouldn't work, and he tried to swerve. He couldn't put the semi in gear, and he ended up. Um, 
piling into 29 cars and multiple people passed away and he was sentenced to 110 years and there was um, petitions and protests and he got 10 years sentence. I feel like he shouldn't be charged at all. It should be the company's fault. Yeah. It's, it's the company's fault that how, the, like how the is it his fault that the brakes, brakes yeah, malfunction. Yeah. What can anybody do in that situation? And he tried to do everything he could. He tried to swerve, but there was another truck uh, on the uh, shoulder, so he couldn't mm-hmm. get over. It's, yeah, it, it, he was damned if he did or didn't. Uh-huh. It, it was like nothing he could do. Mm-hmm. I was like, that is just And that is so messed tragic. up. I, I'm glad that they got his sentence reduced. And that was in that, but, Colorado. But I don't think he should be in yeah. jail at all. Mm-hmm. At I don't, because that was not his fault. Like, there's, like, what's the liability for the that's company? That's just like when, like, now we're in the middle of a winter advisory, winter weather advisory, with the snow and the sleet and all of that. If you... Or can't stop. If you hit a patch of ice, you can't stop. Mm-hmm. You have no control over that. You could try to maneuver, but you're on ice. The ice is unpredictable. You don't know mm-hmm. what your car. It can spin. You 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 have no way of knowing what's gonna happen, right. no matter what you try. And if you end up hitting another car, hitting somebody, like you literally had no control over it. Mm-hmm. I agree. Uh, anything else about that topic. That's sad. I'm mean, like, I'm glad. It like is, they, is they did one sad. thing is that they, they reduced it to 10 years, but, but he's he up for, not, yeah, I know. And you know what? Like the he's guy, he's up for parole in five. He shouldn't even have to wait five years. Like the guy, Cal Rittenhouse and the other guy, yes, yes. um, that killed a few people that he only sent was sent to probation. Yeah. I'm like, seriously, this was literally an accident beyond his control. Right. Mm-hmm. And these mm-hmm. people intentionally mm-hmm. killed him. Yes. Yeah. I, I hate to, I hate to say it. it's the, it's the color that's, of your skin. Wrapping up 2021, that's mm-hmm. it. That's what it is. 2022, we're going to walk. 2022 is going to be like... I don't want to go to war. I'm too cute to battle. You said... No, hey, I meant we... I don't want to go to war. I'm too not cute to battle. to war. Just, oh, my gosh, she's too I'm cute to I'm going to war shoot. with my words because that... That's what killed people. Your words most. definitely do cut like a knife. Yeah, definitely. So, I, I, agree. I, I I'm definitely not going to war fighting. I barely can walk, but I go to war with my words. Oh, well, you look really nice with the lipstick and the hair. Oh, Don't thank you. Know. I love the you color. You ladies be popping. <laughs> um, another tragedy was the um, Astro World yeah, Festival that Travis that Scott put on. Um. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Um, so that was a tragedy within itself. And Travis Scott, he's definitely, uh... Remorseful. Not only is he uh, remorseful, but he is getting a lot of consequences. He's getting dropped by a lot of, um, promoters, um, everything. Like, everything he had lined up, they're dropping him from concerts. I think that's a Uh, bit unfair, though. I mean, I think he should be... Like, all kinds of stuff. I, I think he should be held accountable to an extent, absolutely. But mm-hmm. to just drop him from everything, I don't think. Because he, like, granted, he hypes up the crowd. There's more that his team and the people that work around him could have did. Like, when you, when a cameraman sees a girl telling somebody, hey, if you were telling a cameraman, somebody is over here dying. That cameraman should be able to stop fucking filming and get some fucking help. Even you have multiple, like, yeah, you have multiple cameras filming it. It ain't going to hurt if one cameraman is told, hey, somebody is hurt. There should be some kind of a system where they are able to get the people help that they need. That's where they failed a lot at. And that's why I feel like there's a lot of backlash towards Travis Scott because of that. Because, like, it seemed like nobody gave a fuck. They were just continue on with the show. It was like, continue on with the show. Let's get that money. Who the fuck cares that your audience is out there dying? Mm-hmm. And um, he did an interview with Charlemagne the God, and he's Charlemagne was saying how officers said that he literally told Travis Scott like what was going on, and he still decided to perform. And Travis Scott was saying that he never was informed of anything. But if you look at the video, he a he's lot of people, clear view yeah, of what a lot was of going people, on. And he was still. I was trying to say, there's plenty you know of video what? people talking to people in his camp, and nobody was doing nothing. Girl, mm-hmm. he was thinking like them. And what happened is he got a lot of backlash for doing it. Now, if they just step, kept on doing what they were doing, they wouldn't got no backlash. They probably would have got more endorsements. But That's always how it goes. Mm-hmm, but I think that he was wrong if he saw what was going on and he kept performing. Yeah, there's clear footage of him performing. and just It's like he was in a daze or something. Yeah, mm. it's, it's sad. Mm. 
It's just sad. Um, another sad thing, which people are saying she's getting what she deserves, but I don't think she deserves this. Wendy Williams. Oh yeah. Uh, her health has been declining. She, I think, well, she's getting better now. She hasn't went back to her show. Um, and people are saying <coughs> that's what she get for being in everybody else's business. And I'm like, no, she, she, no, everybody gossip about everybody. Everybody talk about everybody. Why do you guys feel like she should be the one to, to suffer like that? She already went through a public divorce, embarrassed by her husband having a baby with the mistress. Like how much more do you feel like she needs to go through just because she gave her opinion about something? Well, I'll say this. I don't, ain't that what we're doing right now? Yeah, yeah give opinions. Yeah, of course. Uh, but I, th- I was, <coughs> excuse me, I will say this. One thing, like, a big story that happened in 2021 is when Wendy Williams, like, tried to call out Tabitha Brown for Mm -hmm. retiring her husband. Who? Tabitha Tabitha Brown. Brown. She's the one uh, on social media. She's a vegan. She does, like, recipes and stuff. And she talks with the sweetest voice. The lady with the afro. She was just on uh, the last season of The Shy. I don't know. Yeah, she was on the last season of The Shy. She was going to adopt a girl baby. Oh, okay. Uh, But she retired her husband because she's doing so well now her husband was a cop and she's like I want you to be able to retire early Wendy was on her show calling her dumb for doing that saying that because she did that he gonna leave her like just talking bad about her marriage and Tabitha is the sweetest woman and her and her husband have like such a loving relationship and what Tabitha did when she got wind of what Wendy had said she had responded in a video saying how just I'm gonna pray for you because you need healing She's like, you're not happy, and that's why you would look at my marriage and think to see negativity. She said in the sweetest way, like basically. But told her the truth. Told her the truth, like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pray for you and I wish you well. And it seemed like after that, Wendy just started going more and Nobody more downhill. Nobody should think their relationship or marriage is better than anybody else, right? Because you never know. Mm-hmm. You never know. You never know. And then. Um... But, and also there was a point too where they said that Wendy Williams' son didn't want to deal with her. He gave her an ultimatum mm-hmm. about if she don't get her self, her health in order that, you know, he ain't going to want to deal with her. Really? Mm-hmm. I think she's, she's you know, probably, probably on something. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. who saying wants that for to years? be around a druggie? People were saying that for years. Yeah. And she even admitted to it on her show that she had a setback. But you know what the setback was? Because she was too busy trying to still be with her husband and you knew he wasn't. She knew he wasn't shit. But I think oh. it's. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> you say shit? Guess. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, you know, FCC watching this? <laughs> I think, you know, my, you were a woman who was married. You know, I think she was just hurt. You know, when you've been with somebody for so long. But people telling you. But when you. Listen. When people tell that's you. That's what I did. I listened. People didn't tell me for a long time, but when they told me. Well, she me, did I try listened. to hold on even after she knew. He that's was what I'm saying. Around. That's true. But. Just go. If she did left when they first started. She, start, she did left when they first started. Telling her she to look into it to find out she wouldn't be so hurt. By now she would have been recovered from it. Yeah. Now she's all on drugs and stuff while she buttoning everybody. I can't tell nobody about their relationship, but I'm just saying I know what I've been doing. I, I can't I tell nobody that my relationship wasn't always bad. No, no, know, but hey. But I'm just saying you were a married just, woman before and you yeah, got divorced. Yeah, but just if somebody or. Your friend tried to tell you just maybe you should just listen. I think some people be just dumb in love. But how dumb can you be? You see how he, how Ma, bold he got. Man, this man was her manager. That's what he I'm was saying. running her show. But she could find. He him. was one of she the could producers, find him just like she did. Like, but she like let him control everything, just like Charlotte the main the guy that said, said he can't deal with her because her husband controls everything. That's what she, But that's what I'm saying. When she basically listen, lost everything because he was doing everything. But if she'd have listened to her friend, yeah. But she, she would thinking, be I over know. it by now. You know what I mean? I think it's just her. I don't know. We all process pain differently. Uh huh. It takes you a minute to get over it. It's, it's, I'm not going to say it's easy, but everybody can get over it. 
eventually she'll be fine. I, I know she'll be fine. But I think it's just we all press, process pain differently, and I think that yeah, just really hit her heart. You know? I think it just really yeah. hit her heart. Well, I don't see how it can hit your heart when people been telling you. Like me, <laughs> it hit my heart because I didn't know and everybody around me knew. That's yeah. what bothered me, you know. Nobody even keep coming up to me telling me if they would, I would have paid attention. I think your response was more of a, I'm upset because everybody around me lied to me. I think, well, hers is more of a, like, closing in, uh, like, oh, like, scared little kid. You were like, no, this is some bullshit. Y'all fucking knew this, and... And I can't believe y'all sat up in my face, whereas Wendy is it's like... It's one sister that didn't sit in my face, though. She told me. And that's when I started paying attention. Mm -hmm. So, like, you had more of a, like, yeah, I'm hurt, but I'm more mad that y'all lied to yeah. me. And I think with Wendy, it's just more, she's just hurt. She's mm -hmm. not mad, she's hurt. But that's hurt. why you shouldn't... You always put God first. And then put your relationship or your, you know, kids. God is supposed to come before your own kids. You know what I mean? Put him first and he would have guided her. Then you'll get an order so you can be. Right I didn't think I could son. make it yeah. through mine. But now that I've gone through it, it's, it was the best thing for me. And you know what else though too is being in the spotlight. Yeah, that too. It's, it's like being in the a sur surreal moment all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I mean, but she talked about that ladies. Tap the ground. That's what I'm saying. It's almost <laughs> like karma in a sense. Mm -hmm. Like like you can't go around, and then when something happens to you, and then it's in the media. You, you just, so sick, you, you, you about you, to you die. Had, or you well, close out. That lady you close up. She her. tried to save face like when she first got divorced mm -hmm. and kept doing her show. Mm -hmm. But then it seemed like after that, she said that about that woman. Woman checked her with grace. Mm -hmm. And then she began to spiral down. Was there a, a, a level of what karma should be? Like sometimes it don't have to be that dramatic. Level, see, that's not up to us. That's why you no, don't do I know. shit to people. No, I know because it's not you don't up know. to us, but I'm saying for people to say, like, that's what she get. I don't think she did. No, I would never all. say but that's what she get. get. I'm not saying say that's, that's what, what she, she get. get. I'm just but, saying what goes around be, comes around. Yeah, and to be honest, she should have let, I would have been like, oh, girl, that's good that you and your husband yeah, you could like, afford to imagine, let your husband do that. Imagine if she had you know, said she that is positive. great. Yeah, imagine if she had said that's great what you did for your husband. You guys have a beautiful relationship. Her and Tabitha could have bonded. Uh, she Tabitha could have been helping her with her if she needed time off. Tabitha could have been like doing a show. Now, y'all like, know Wendy ain't get where she was by being nice. Uh, absolutely She's always not. been raw and absolutely. But she's Tola been... wants to fight her. So I'm just saying that well, Wendy ain't you all... know what that's karma. That's right. what, what goes well, around comes okay. around. Well, moving along. So, oh my God, the the capital, the capital right. right. Yes, a lot of them people got sentenced to jail. A lot of them. But why is Trump still running around free? I don't know. Peter, he, it ain't right. I don't it know. It ain't right. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if he'll be free for much longer. Well, than... hurry up. She said, well, hurry up. Like, Cause shoot, 20... I want to see it. Cause, no, because 2024 coming. If he run, I promise my grandkids, if Trump run in 2024, I'm running against him. You so I'm hoping he's in jail. Though? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. I'm hoping in jail. Like Can I run the campaign? Trip. Yeah, hey, yeah, anybody that to help me. <laughs> I don't care. I need all the help I can get. But if he run, I swear vote for, I'm hey, 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 vote for Janice. I, hey, <laughs> I don't even want to win. I just don't want him <laughs> to. Me. I want to take the little three votes I can away from him. <laughs> just a little three <laughs> votes I can. That's funny. Well, we better start working on our campaign. I don't think he's going to run. Yeah, I'm hoping that. He already seen now. I'm hoping they just go ahead and put him he away. Really see now. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I'm hoping they put him in the nut house. There's a few people that should be in the nut house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't talking about family. <laughs> 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 ding, ding, ding. All right. Um, do you guys want to touch more on the... Not on the uh, January 6th. Just other things. That's There's uh, this 
was a, this year went by fast. Leslie Jones. Leslie Jones, yeah. She uh, so um, she put out. She did an interview with a magazine. I think it was like five, five years, years ago, ago. And they just released it to where she was saying like she doesn't feel like uh, she gets male attention. That she'll probably end up alone, die alone. And the magazine just released, it, and she put on Instagram like, "Hey, I don't feel this way anymore." Basically saying like the magazine is trying to trying to flip her words now and release a statement now and she said that she has a she you know they made a glow up she has improved um in her life as far as her career just just everything and so she wasn't she's not denying saying it but she's just saying that she, she doesn't felt feel that, way that way five years she's ago yeah, and yeah. she's different and she looks good and she's she does doing look good great. with her career and everything and i feel like just because i well for me personally I don't think she's a distasteful woman or not attractive. I just think she, it was questionable choices with like her fashion Style, sense yeah. and her like the hairstyle she would wear and the way she would dress. But as far as like her overall appearance, I feel like she is a decent looking woman. Um, and you know, black women already get a bad stigma for not being seen as being exotic or attractive. And they, they call us masculine. Yeah, and so well, somebody got to be the man. <laughs> they not men. Somebody have to step in and handle it. So all the negativity talk coming from... Talking to a man, talking to your mama. <laughs> <laughs> so all the negativity coming from, like, just men within our, our own communities could have made her feel that way. But um, there's other ethnicities of men out there she can date. And she probably date one. Yeah. I said, oh, but she open looks up good. your options. She don't look if, bad. If, if, when black yeah. women open up their mm-hmm. options, men, they find Black men things. too picky. And then they got the nurse to call us ugly. What makes them think they look so good, though? You know what? A that's lot of them ugly. Ass, true, a that lot is. of them men is ugly as hell, and they're they glad. They should her. be glad right. we looking at them. But uh, that what killed me. You ugly. Mm-hmm. You got the nerve to call somebody else ugly. You know you what I mean? She pretty. <laughs> 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 this is she thinks she pretty. Right? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, but that's you know because the response to that article that was being shared, the comments. On those posts, like saying, see, yeah, like just basically making fun of her and like mm-hmm. to take a pleasure in the idea that she might be miserable. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why do y'all but hate you know this what? woman? She hasn't I, done they nothing. Hate all, to a, lot of, a lot of black men hate. Yeah, black but women. you know what? I like, like hate her for like Let that. Me tell you what, what she should have got on there, like I did one time, and tapped to see what they look like. They all and look terrible. That's what I'm saying. Gave them like some. You said. Hey, take a look in the mirror. Mm-hmm. I mean, gave them some of them ugly ass comments back, and then mm-hmm. they probably wouldn't bother her. But she's not. She's ugly. not. She's a very nice looking woman. Very nice, and and then she hasn't really been out there like that lately. She's been doing a lot of behind the scene mm-hmm. work. But Leslie Jones, people just. Are they cool mean, for no yeah. reason. Like she, this woman is very funny. She seems to be a nice, humble p- person. Why would y'all like take pleasure in, at the idea that she would be miserable? Thank she, thank goodness that she's not doesn't feel that way anymore. <coughs> I'm very happy for her. I love mm-hmm. seeing people happy. I love seeing people but thrive. If you know that's this, weird. people love to see somebody miserable. Yes. And yes. if you're yeah. not miserable. Why? They sure in the hell gonna try yeah, to make I you don't be get that. that. So Why do pe- misery loves company? I guess miserable so people want other people to be. I'm miserable. too old to be miserable. Yeah, me no too. I don't have what, time. No for matter it. what somebody say about me or do what to me, say? I'm still happy. What busy say? I'm good, bitch. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm still happy. Um. So a lot of things that happened this year. Has to also do with like global warming. Yeah, there's been a lot of weather. tornadoes, mm-hmm. a lot of flooding, uh, just chaos. I love what, it, the brown Christmas, and it's a brown New Year. <laughs> Everything don't have to be white. <laughs> well, um, I, I think more than what what we're thinking is is that with the change of it doesn't matter. I'm happy about the brown. But who knows Christmas. what it? But who knows what the weather was in other um, countries and different and continents God back makes in the choice of the weather. If he, if he wants that it to just snow, don't take it's time to snow. rotate. Like how there's you know records of this God. stuff. Who made those records? Right. And who's who made those records? <laughs> you made the records. They still here. No, only one I know that controls the weather and stuff is God. Yes. 
If he want it to snow, if he don't want the the ice to melt, it ain't going to melt. Because he can freeze it back up like that. Y'all better start depending on God. Forget these people y'all listening to. And could this take time to, could this be real estate? Maybe we're going to have a bad winter. And of course, they usually have a warm winter. It's having a, you know, cold winter. Who would say this don't? The world rotates. Yes, and it's not Mother Nature; it's God's nature. Oh, she look at her preaching. Preach on, <laughs> preach on. Let's see. It's been so much stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So this is a story that I just came across, uh, actually, this morning or yesterday. So a NYPD captain, his name is Jeff, uh, Jeffrey Brzezina, um, is being accused of sexual assault and rape from a female officer she um transferred to his precinct i think it was in like the end of 2020 Mm. and she just retired and she said that she retired two years earlier than what she wanted to because of his harassment so like it was it's it started at like these yankee games they will always go to like yankee games and then one day he followed her into the restroom and yeah force mm. herself on her and then it just went to like him making her be his private driver like all this other like crazy mm. stuff using his power yeah yeah and so Why she, didn't she report the first time well she was afraid that she wanted, uh, didn't want to lose her job right mm-hmm. and so now that she didn't retire early she's suing that's why new york yeah and that and stuff like that do happen. It does when people, especially somebody, is a superior to mm-hmm. you in the field of it business. Is, it would never happen to me. I'll walk off that job so fast. It'd be why are you leaving so fast? He's just trying to rape me. Or he she me she, she, she would walk out with balls and toe. She cut them motherfuckers off. <laughs> yeah. No so way. Definitely, That's um, sad. And along. And the, and the sad thing about cases like this, you have to have evidence. You know yeah. what I mean? So I hope she does like at least she went to the doctor or yeah got, she had got some kind video, of video something yeah, anything text messages something because that had to have been years yeah i thought she said you just said she, she started working with from 2020 mm-hmm. okay so just the last year yeah one year. okay mm-hmm. but hopefully she has got some evidence that's, hey, that's a copy check. with things but you, you know, know they like to the the trace, trace them phone records they'll probably mm-hmm. catch him and her in the same spot maybe in that bathroom and um she is a not to bring race into it but he's a, a white man and she's a black woman oh yeah so <sighs> lord have mercy yeah that's sad that's um, even worse because so, now it's going to be, race is going to be used. They're going to believe yeah. yeah. But definitely wish her well. Yeah, that's and sad. And hopefully she'll win her case and stand up for, for women. That's why a lot of people don't uh, come up and say what's going on. You women, I hate to say it, that really can't defend yourself or anything like that, keep something we on need to, you. Please, so if, y'all, start getting so licensed to carry. Even if it's just a knife, mm-hmm. though, keep something on you. When they go to rape officer, you... I'm, well, I'm well but she didn't know yeah. she couldn't do when that. When they but go I think to women rape you, do. if you <laughs> let him pull it off and then chop it off and then go to the police station with it in your hand, they'll have to believe you. Sorry. I'm crazy, y'all. It's no, about to be a you, new you, year. No, you're not. I'm just, just, for the game. I'm just tired. It in your <laughs> if yeah. you don't show them. Show them. Show them. <laughs> then they'll believe you because you want to. See, I told you. you. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, it's just, I'm tired of men and they bullshit. No, I hear you. I hear you. It's a lot of women that do bullshit. I'm, t- yeah, I'm tired of women and they bullshit Men too. is taking it to the extreme because men is starting to act like women. They gossip too much, tell you how you should dress, how you should act, and they not even fucking married to you. Right, that's true. I never get got that either. Get out of here. Like, what the hell are you wearing? Get out of here, right. I get out of here. I do what I do. Right. Like, yeah, that's true. I never and understood that either. that's how I do it. All right. Um, I don't have much more to say about 2021. I'm trying to think of some things that really had an impact on me. COVID. It's still going on. COVID ain't gonna never end. It's never That's because people away. don't want to get the vac- uh, vaccinated and they don't want to wear it. But even being vaccinated, you could still catch it. But you, but have, you can wear uh, a mask. less likely risk of yeah, but serious you, but health you could still problems. Catch yeah, it. yeah. Nothing is Listen, guaranteed, girl. Wear a mask. 
Wear your mask. I, I be, don't see why people don't want to. I do. It's I crazy like to me because I be everywhere with mine on and I be happy to wear it because people like don't do they six feet yeah, and then yeah. they don't have on a mask and they be coughing right on your neck. And then the crazy thing, I get around too many people. God damn it, I'm coughing. Mm -hmm. I'm coughing and people looking at me. Do she have, hey. At least I got on the mask. Right. Like that video I shared how the guy said uh, he was coughing in a store and the lady ran. And the lady <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, and she don't like COVID. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Um, it's been two years uh, since we since COVID hit. Yeah. Um, let's see. That's crazy. Two years. Yeah, yeah. two years. What else? Um, me on a personal level, 2021 was fantastic. Um, my mom, my daughter, my nephew, and myself, we went to um, oh, Las yeah. Vegas, yeah. California. Yeah. We went to Disneyland. We yeah. went to our entire family, including my sister Jenny. So we went to um, oh, Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we went to for, Indiana. yeah, we got to reunite with my family. It wasn't, it was short. It was, it was, like, it was, sad just call. Like, it was a sad cause, but um, we got to see. Some family we had. That was seen. very nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Let's see what else we had a fantastic Christmas with our family. Yeah. Um. That's been a great. We got to be fifty cent. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. It's been a a really great great year. I will say our show. We've been doing our show now for two years. Mm -hmm. Um, but we have definitely improved over the last few months, and it's showing because we're gaining a lot of more traction and traffic on our page. So thank you all. Yeah, thank we, you. Appreciate we appreciate you guys you. watching yeah. and liking and following us. I mm -hmm. never said it before, but I do appreciate it because I, I just felt like we was just three women sitting up yeah. here talking, just having a good sharing time, our content, sharing, sharing our content, sharing our opinions. Yeah, so we appreciate it. Let's see. Um, how you feel your uh, year was great, <laughs> except for today a little bit, and maybe you know just little, a little, little people getting here on there. my nerves. Yeah, yeah. Here, 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 but overall, know. yeah, great. What was the highlight of your year, twenty twenty one? What was the highlight? I don't know. What was that vacation? That was the best for me. That was a nice vacation. You, yeah. uh, she was, a lot of people just come up to her, talking yeah. to her. We were smoking weed <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> it was fun. That was, I think the vacation was the best That's for me. That's awesome. That's Good. Awesome. What about you, Nix? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Um, working from home? <laughs> I, I, I definitely love working from home because it saves so much time and hassle. But um, what the highlight of my year was? Hmm. Oh gosh, I don't. I guess sending my baby to a vacation with y'all was the highlight of my year. Like I always wanted him to be able to just go somewhere, leave <laughs> Omaha. We travel a lot. Yeah, they y'all do travel a lot. They get our kids get to go a lot of places. We're I, blessed. I love. We're really I always blessed. feel good when I get to send my son somewhere fun that he's mm -hmm. never been to somewhere he can see something new because mm -hmm. but you know this is second time in cali though right? oh i know that <laughs> okay. Okay. no i know that okay um i'm just saying i love whenever i'm able to yeah. do that for we him. are truly blessed what about you tart you got a raise i got a ra yep yeah. that that one of the biggest highlights of the year i finally mm -hmm. got a raise um you? i would say mine is the vacation and i would also say getting a raise Thank God um, I have a cool boss. I got two raises this year. Oh, I nice. got a promotion in May, which qualified me for a raise. And I just got a raise for my annual um, a few days ago. So, truly blessed. Mm -hmm. um, another highlight is for me, my daughter, my nephew going to homecoming. Oh, yes. Yeah, that, that whole that 20 minutes. That, that whole 20, 20 minutes. minutes. That was in there. They were so cute, <laughs> too. Oh, my God. Though. They were so yeah, cute. I mean, I'm just, I hope 2022 continues the way it had. Like, 2021 was great for our family dynamic, I think. Mm -hmm. um, like I said earlier, we our show was doing a lot better. We improved a lot. I felt like my mom, she, she's, you seem happy. Like happy, <laughs> no, it's something good. 
good. I want to know. Okay, good. okay. You know, like you seem, um, you're not as you seem very stressed happy. out. Yeah, you're happy. Things are going really good for you. Um, you know, it's it's been a few years of struggling for yeah, us, but yeah, it's, it's definitely and it's good to see you smile. Yeah, I'm always grinning now. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad funny. that you're so happy. I I love that. I'm happy. You know, people hate to see me happy, but I'm enjoying life. You are. To be honest. You actually yeah. given a lot of people a lot of passes too, which I'm you surprised are. about. So you're I not. Tell. You're not. Uh, you. Uh, you. Just, mom used to go to zero one hundred quick. She don't do that no more. No. No. That's because. But that's just because she. It's not. I, I can't not get around. If I could get around, can, I would still no. go to zero from one hundred. <laughs> I think what it is is you have less reasons no. to go zero well, one hundred. You, I mean, cause you're happy at home, minding your business. Yeah. You're not fucking with you're nobody. Like, forget y'all. Let me let me go enjoy this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like, shit, I'm gonna be at this have nice my cigarette, you know, <laughs> this right now, uh, have my ice and watch my Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah. That's all I, I do. Need. That's that's Alfred what it Hitchcock. is. Yeah. yeah. And I'll say for you, Nisa, I know it's a change of um, your personality this year, 2021. You ain't taking no mess. High five to Thank that. Thank you. Cause you know. Back in the day, I've would... always been very shy and yeah. timid, and I, I and I would. I, one thing I used to always regret when I was younger is that I didn't speak up when I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Like I would be quiet. I am starting to speak up more. I do be quiet sometimes, but I do speak up. I feel like I and I'm. I love that about me, and I ain't changing. Yeah, I love I'm that glad about that you're me. using your your voice. Thank you. Um. Okay. One last thing I want to say. You ladies can have the floor. Uh, another big thing for uh, for me this year was insecure for Nally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, finale. I love insecure so much. That's, that's been my show that for was the past my five show. years. Um, that's all I ha that's all I really have. Insecure was great. I loved insecure. The ending was perfect too. It was I perfect. I cried. I get back with Lawrence. So it was so a I beautiful show. And th thank Issa Rae. That's another one. Congratulations to her! Like mm. a positive black show yeah. where every not where b bad negative stereotypes of black people, no trauma porn. What? It was it was just a great well, hey, show. Nothing wrong with trauma because uh, yeah. I have to say I love Fifty Cent's Ghost. Oh too. no, yeah, yeah, that's uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's, that's fine. But I mean, like this was a show, kind of like The Best Man. Like that was oh, one yeah, of the first that movies too. that I yeah. seen where everybody had lucrative jobs, nobody yeah. was in trouble. It was just black people in black Positive. excellence and it was just a crazy story in the movie mm -hmm. i feel like that was insecure like where it's just black people thriving in their businesses or mm -hmm. going through ups and downs and it was just a good show so thank you Issa Rae, for that it was excellent yeah. thank you all right uh any final thoughts any new year's resolutions ladies oh um you, could, you have a new year's resolution uh. Mine's is always to be the same way every year. <laughs> Constantly being Jay. And I do want people to know there can never be another Janice Jones. I'm the one and the only. I'm 2.0 right. Janice Jones. And apparently I am too. Uh, well, shoot, it's, it's too many Janice Jones. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently I am too. I'm apparently Janice too. But hey, I love that I have you and me. Like, Because if I didn't, then shit, I'd be ran over all the time. Yeah. What's well, your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution, I, I really do want to just focus on more positive things in my life and stop letting things get to me. I kind of want to stop, like, engaging with people that I disagree with. Yeah. You know, I kind of want to stop that because then when I have a disagreement, sometimes I'll let that bother me, and I don't want to mm. let anything still my joy anymore so yeah. i want to do better with cutting off negativity that's what my new year's resolution you do give is. people chance after I do. chance after I chance do. and that's because a lot of people that hurt you are your blood and i think you just want to be there for support but i hate to but, say this you know but your family will do you worse, worse than sir. a stranger worse that's true sir. Mm -hmm. worse sir and believe me i know i know my New Year's resolution is honestly continue on the path that I'm going, and I do want our show to um, keep progressing. You're gonna keep, keep doing this till the wheels fall off. Yeah, so I just want us to um, do bigger and better things um, in the upcoming year. Yeah. Um, is that all we? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so we do want to say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Wish everyone will for 2022. Um, but 
2021, we lost a lot of great people. Yeah, we did. So we do want to pay homage to those people and um, do a little memorial clip. First, a surprise to me that I woke up this morning to you, see that Betty oh, White passed away yeah. at night, the age of 99. Oh, my God. And she would have been 100 years old on January 17th. Mm. So um, I do want to go ahead and start that memorial. We loved you, Betty White. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.